The philosophy of capturing information is actually super simple. But before I share how I do it in Microsoft To Do and OneNote, I want to share with you an example. So, you come into your house, you open the door and you have your groceries with you and you are in a phone call and your dog is barking at you or a cat is wanting something from you. You are distracted and you put down your groceries, you finish your phone call, maybe in the couch or, or maybe up in your bedroom even because you're going to change or something. But where did you put your house keys or car keys? Do you remember where? Did you pay attention to where you put it? Well, the thing is that the reason for why we may spend so much time looking for those house keys or car keys because you can't remember where you put them because you didn't pay attention is because of science, actually. It's called proactive interference, where old, strong memories overwrite newer, weaker memories. So the more you pay attention to where you put something, you, the more likely it is for you to remember it. So that is why we search all over the house for the car keys and the consequence may be that you lose a meeting, that you're too late for soccer practice, that you spend too much time trying to find what you know is within the parameters of your house. So how can we work against this? How can we hack this? Well, we can hack it by a simple trick, by storing your car keys and your house keys in the same drawer in your hallway every time. And even better if it's a flower there or a picture of a flower, something concrete that you can remember it by because turns out your brain remembers in pictures. So you store it the same place every time. Then it doesn't matter if an older, stronger memory overrides the new one because it's the same place. So how can we translate this into digital task and information capture? Well, David Allen in Getting Things Done even talked about this. Store your information in a collection bin. All right, how can you translate this to digital tools? Well, we can use Microsoft To Do in order to store tasks and links and, and information in your task section in Microsoft To Do. And also if you get actionable emails that you want to follow up, those goes into flagged emails every time. And even planner tasks you can find under planned tasks. From there you know where every time you're putting something, a task, you will find it in those folders. I do this for OneNote as well. Now I use it to capture pictures at conferences or in workshops where you want to take a picture of that whiteboard. I put that into a quick note or collection section. Every time I capture meeting notes, I put those into a meeting note section so I know where to find them again. And this is the essence of capture. So this is what I have learned, regardless of how busy I am or how much time I have on my hands, storing it in the same place, capturing it so I can find it again, so I can forget where I stored it, don't have to remember it, that's the essence of succeeding with task management in a structured way. I created a couple of videos on, of this already. I will link them in the description section below and future videos on the capture process, I will also link in the description uh, section below. So take a look how to set your digital tools up, OneNote, to do up correct so that you can find your stuff again. That's the philosophy of capture.